What's going on YouTube fam? Today I'm gonna give you guys a quick look at the Alayli May and Jordan 1 Zoom collaboration. Uh, before I go over the kicks, get into the review and all that good stuff, if you're new to my channel, first time stumbling across a video of mine or just dropping by, I wanna say thank you. Thank you for taking out some time to check out my video. Uh, while I have you here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me and click that notification bell. That way, anytime when I upload new material, post new content or anything, you guys will get notified, then you can head to the channel and you can check out the latest video that I uploaded for you guys. Uh, you can also find me on Twitter and Instagram and the username is at IMTMCII. So if you're on social media, go ahead and give me a follow there. And lastly, hit that thumbs up button for me. That goes a long way as an indicator to me, it lets me know that you enjoy the content and it just motivates me to keep wanting to record these videos and share my pickups with you guys. So go ahead and hit that thumbs up button for me. All right, so now that the intro stuff is all out of the way, let's dive right into the kicks. So as I mentioned, this is the uh, Alayli May uh, collaboration on a Jordan 1 Zoom model. So this isn't your regular Jordan 1, uh, it's the Jordan 1 Zoom. And this is actually my first pair of Zoom ones. Uh, for those who don't know who Alayli May is, she's, a, uh, she's like a well-renowned, uh, fashion designer and model and she's had some collaborations with Jordan already and this is her latest collaborations and um, reading just reading a little story in the background on the shoe uh, she wanted to kind of pay homage to uh, some of the extra curricular activities she was on her dance team back when she was young and she just wanted to kind of pay homage to that and use some of the colors of the school that she went to and the school that she used to practice with. So being on a drill team, uh, I think I wanna say the, the blue color is from one school and the green color is from a different school. So her her drill team and her instructor, she would let them practice with like the older kids and the cool kids. And um, she just kind of wanted to pay homage to that. So it's kind of why I have that, that old varsity jacket school looking vibe to it. So, you know, you're like on some of the varsity jackets, you have like the varsity patches and just all of this stuff on here is kind of paying homage to the school colors and all of that, that kind of tying that all together. Um, overall, the material that they used on here, they went with a decent grain of leather on the shoe, believe it or not. You know, uh, it's, it's not hard, but it's, it's nice soft leather that you have on here on the toe box and just overall on the entire shoe. It's a nice grain of leather. Um, the swoosh on here is not really, uh, it's actually, uh, you know, behind here. So you can see that this, the, the green is back here and, and it's, it's just an outline of a swoosh. It's not an actual raised swoosh like we have on our normal Jordan ones. It's just like a, like an outline of a swoosh and then you see the background coloring of it. So that's pretty cool. And then you have this ankle collar, which is, you know, a little odd and different to me, something I'm not used to seeing, but it's still different and I like the, the color combination on it too. It's something, something you don't usually see. So it's definitely gonna be something that's gonna draw some attention when you rock these. So I can't wait to put these on feet. And speaking of that, I'm gonna lace them up towards the end of the video and go over size and comfort and all that stuff. So you guys hang tight for the end of the video and I'll give you guys an on feet look of the shoe where I talk about comfort and all that stuff too. So you see on one of the shoes that they have her signature on one and on the other that they don't. Um, peeking behind here, you have that zoom written right here. You have the A on the tongue also for, you know, for her initial. Uh, they came with some other laces. They came factory laced with the, with the blue laces in. I didn't like the way the blue look. I think these cream or off-white laces are probably the best ones for this shoe. Uh, but if you don't care for that, you have other options. You have gold and you have green as well if you wanted to change those out. Um, coming to the bottom, so you got a, a different kind of outsole. Uh, it's not your traditional Jordan 1 outsole, just a little bit different. Something uh, I, I want to say that the Zooms have have outsoles, something like this. So this is the outsole for them. Uh, coming to the inside of the shoe. So you can see that they have this, this funny tongue. So this is the behind the tongue here. And here is the, this is what's on the actual insole. Right here, I'm not sure if you guys can see that. You can pause your screen and read that. It's the same thing written on the other insole. So this is pretty much it for the shoes. Um, you know, it's a weird shape, kind of different. Uh, but like I said, I, I I wanted to give a give the zooms a try 
And since this was a collab on a pair with some cool colors, I said, why not let this be the pair I go ahead and try out. So i um, show you guys the box. So instead of your traditional black Jordan box, you have a green one and then you have a Laylee's signatures right here. Uh, come down to the label. It's, and it's actually a women's shoe too. I, I never mentioned that. So these were actually women's shoes, but they went up to extended sizes. So for those guys who could fit women's shoes like myself, you, you know, you could actually get a uh, woman's size and you could fit these. Um, so here's the product code, color breakdown and all that stuff. Uh, coming to the inside of the box, you got some special tissue. So like I mentioned, kind of paying homage to the drill team and some of her extracurricular activities when she was young. So you can kind of see like all this stuff that you would see like at, um, you know, like pep rallies and all that. So they kind of paid homage to that and put that on the tissue paper. So I thought that was cool. You know, it's rare that we get special boxes and special tissues, but they did that on these. Um, but this is pretty much it for the for the box and, and for the kicks. I'm going to show you guys one last look of them. Let me know what you think of the whole Jordan 1, the Zoom Jordan 1s. Um, Seem like there's not a lot of hype or buzz towards them yet. Maybe because it's something new. Just like with the fly knit ones. Seem like, you know, if, if it's not OG, all leather, you know, a lot of people are, you know, like, hey, I don't want to fool with it. Don't want to try new things or different things. But uh, leave me a comment down at the bottom. Let me know what you think of these. I usually reply back to comments when you guys drop comments. Let's talk in the comment section. Let me know what you think about the whole Zoom Jordan ones. Um, you can see this too this is a different construction too this isn't really attached to the shoe so it's this it's different you know i wanted to give them a shot so i said why not so um that's enough rambling from me i'm gonna take them off of here i'm gonna toss them on feet really quick and show you guys what they look like on feet so you guys hang tight let's toss these on feet all right guys here's an on feet look at the jordan zoom one this is the Laylee may collaboration just want to show you guys what they look like really quick on feet uh, so the main question I, I always get usually how is size and how do these run? How do these fit? What size should I get if whatever? Um, so as I mentioned, this is my first time getting a Jordan 1 Zoom and to me they fit just like your normal Jordan 1s. I have a medium to a narrow width foot and I prefer a snug exact fit on my shoes. Uh, I don't think my feet are doing any more growing so I usually try and get an exact snug fit. And, you know, with having a medium to a narrow width foot, I think that's a perfect fit for me. Uh, so I, I would go down a half size if you like a fit like that. However, if you don't care for that, just go true to size and I think you'll be okay. If you have wide feet um, and you like a snug fit, go true to size. And even if you don't care for a snug fit, and you have wide feet, I think go true to size. I don't see the need to size up in these at all. I think true to size, you should be a-okay. Uh, as far as comfort goes, with these being a Jordan 1 Zoom, the technology and the, the, the cushioning system is supposed to be a little bit different than your traditional Jordan 1. And it is, I, I feel a little bit more softness and, and you know, the midsole, outsole, and in, you know, the whole, the area where my foot's resting, it is a little bit more softer than your traditional Jordan 1, uh, but it's still a flat feel. I feel I still feel a lot of flatness um, and feel the ground a lot in these. So um, is it a huge difference compared to a Jordan 1? Not really, not to me. Uh, it is somewhat more comfortable, but that just could be because of the insole that, that they have. Uh, it's still... A shoe I think you could still casually rock and wear all day long and not be in pain. Um, but I still don't think this is like the latest and greatest up-to-date technology where it's just like super, super soft and, and squishy. So that's just my take on it. Um, as I mentioned earlier, you can see that they came with other laces. But looking at these, I'm not sure what other laces I would go with. Uh, I think the, the off-white pair is kind of the, the best, safest route to go with these. It's already a lot of colors going on in these. So when I rock them, I'll probably leave them just like this. So uh, I think that's it, man. As I mentioned earlier, if you are new, go ahead, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I have more videos on the way, more content. Um, but until the next video, guys, y'all stay tuned. And I will see you guys on the next video. So see you later. Peace.